Welcome, y'all. Welcome to another round of Copa um, of Redneck Seasons Live. I'm sorry. But uh, today, I was trying to do my video, and it just ran out and took out. It uh, it stopped the video for some reason. I don't know why. So, today, I'm going to show you two brand new video, uh, two new brand new cans, a limited edition. We got the Copenhagen uh, Long Cut Mint, and it has the U.S. flag on there. And then, you got the Grizzly Long Cut Wintergreen, and it got, this is also limited edition. So, these two cans are limited edition. Um... These are really good cans, same good cans. Most people, they like um, Copenhagen as, for the wintergreen, they think that's good. I think Grizzly wintergreen is good, and I think Copenhagen and Skull Mint is good. Skull Mint and, winter, uh, and Copenhagen Mint is kind of the same. If I had some, uh, if I get some more, um, I'll show y'all. It's um, it tastes just like this. This Copenhagen and that skull of mint tastes just alike. And it, it it's just like if you would have did a blindfold and you matched those two, you would have never known about the Copenhagens. You could probably tell it was Copenhagen mint, and then you give them the co uh, the skull and be like, I thought you just give me that, you know. But um. You see how kind of hard that is, right? And then you get this uh, uh, this grizzly, and it's kind of soft right there in the middle. That's because this has been in the freezer, and this has more of a it. It's fresh for two years, so. But uh, let's take a pinch of this mint. Now, now the mud jug of the day, I don't get, I have to get a new one, but another one, but this is the mud jug for right now, I got this one, we've been having this for a while, um, I need to get me a new one, uh, I'm trying to, so, um, I'm trying my best to get new stuff, uh, right now and I'm up, I'm going to make my new t-shirts um where it has Copenhagen or it's um redneck and then on the back of it it has Copenhagen of all the different varieties. This would say uh redneck here and it say Copenhagen for life and then I'm gonna try to get a tattoo that says that Copenhagen for life and then uh Try to um, down the back. It's gonna have all flavors of Copenhagen, and um, because Copenhagen is a good company, um, I love their wintergreen, their mint, um, their southern blend, and their straight. Other people don't think straight is good. Um, I really love the snuff, the Copenhagen snuff. And the uh, Copenhagen um, long cut. So their flavors, all those flavors combined, those are the best flavors. Now, um, if it comes to Grizzly, their mint is terrible. I don't think it's good. Um, their wintergreen is real good. Their dark wintergreen and their regular wintergreen. Um, their natural flavors, their uh, Copenhagen natural long cut is good. Um, there's all kinds of flavors on the Grizzly side. Skull is alright. The only flavor they got that's really good is the mint or the wintergreen. Um, Red Seal is a bigger can, you know, that's a good can. I like their 
uh, natural long cut, but I don't like their butter greens fine. Um, then you get into the cheaper kind, like um, Stoker's and Longcorn. Stoker's is a good brand. Um, I love their mint and their winter green. The Longhorn so much, I don't think, um, I'm not really fond for that company. Um, I know they're doing well for, for a change, but they still have been, like I said, this Copenhagen and Grizzly and Skull and Red Seal are the most... Kind of the most expensive ones. These two were eleven dollars and like something, but it'd be more expensive in other states. But these are eleven dollars uh, for a row is about thirty, but almost thirty dollars. I didn't even have thirty. Well, I had sixty bucks, but I wouldn't spend in thirty dollars. Uh, Twenty six dollars for a can, <laughs> for five cans. When I can just buy two cans for eleven dollars, it's not bad. So, but yeah, the prices has gone up. But uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get the uh, Copen Copenhagen um, company to send me um, notices when they send out their brand new cans. Because I want them to send it to me so I can try it out and make a video for it. And uh, let it be like a commercial uh, for them so I can... So the people who dip, like Outlaw, you know, me and other dippers, would like to get a, you know, a sample of their new dip. So we can comment on if it's good or not. And if it's good on most of the dippers, like me and Outlaw don't like it, we can bring it out. Or if Outlaw likes it and some people don't, that's what I need to do. But if y'all if y'all know a way where I can talk to the company, uh, comment down below. Um, and try to get me 2,000 likes at least. I know this is a kind of a boring day, but today was a good day. Um, uh... Who knew Gainesville had a big pool that uh, that was ten feet? Six three. Um, that's a lot taller than I am. But well, um, yeah, I'm uh, like I said. Um, true. It, it, there's a like there's uh, there's people you should watch. If there's a if you know a way where you can get out wall to talk, if you know a way to talk to him, right, if you ever talk to him or he talk to you, um, comment down below to give me advice how to do that, um, so, uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Outlaw's channel, and to Jack Paul's channel, just, um, and the Dobe Brothers, um, let them know I said it, let them watch my videos, send them it to them and see what they think. Um, if you want to watch any more videos, please subscribe to my channel and you'll see more videos, what comes up. And uh, now the verse of the day. I want you to think about this and I want you to understand what it means. Um, so, iron sharpens iron. Um, so, I want you to tell me, I want, to, I want you to think about it, that is that honor your father and mother, right? So, and people would be like, why do we need to honor our father and mother? And some people may say, well, my father is rude, disrespectful, and all that to me. And I always tell them, you just got to honor them. 
because your real father is up in heaven and he's real and he's never going to leave you like your earthly father. Um, so no matter how bad your earthly father or your earthly mother is, you still respect them. Um, these other dippers, they tell you how to hide it. I'm going to tell you not to hide I'm going to tell you how to. Um, if you are a dipper, just come clean about it. I never, I didn't come clean about my dipping and, you know, I should have did. But when I did come clean about it, my dad was, because 16 years old, he found out that I came clean about it. He asked me, was I dipping that night when I was on my birthday? And I told him, you got to be clean about it. Instead of he being mad at me, he told me, he said, hey, um, was it good? I told him, yeah, and he used to buy my cans. But this can, this grizz, uh, this can here, this grizzly green, and this can here would be good for a first timer. I was, I'm thinking about a natural kind, so it doesn't burn your lip, you know. But have a blessed day. Forgive your brother and always share the love to the world. And if you want to, if you want to keep watching these videos, subscribe to our channel, like that like button, and come to the Redneck family and love someone today. Make somebody, make somebody's day exciting. They don't matter what you do. So my challenge is for you today is that you go up to your parents or your or friend or someone you don't know. Um, if it's your family, do something good for them. If it's a stranger, go buy them, go buy their dinner and go give it to them. Or pay them, go pay for it um, in a line, drive through. Go do something. Make somebody's day exciting. I'll see y'all and have a blessed day.